Let's just jump right into it. Again, my name is Chester Moist Muffins, coming to you live from the BMP studios, and I've got a special report. Lights out nine. The biggest small tire radio race to ever hit the country is only three weeks away. And I had the pleasure to sit down with Donald Long, who is the CEO and founder of Duck X Productions. And he wanted me to go over his new tax plan that's going to be rolling out in Lights Out 9. So let's just take a look at the first change. Portable toilets. That's always nice. He has acquired 43 blue portable toilets. That's quite a, quite a few. One little catch, though. They've been retrofitted with a new credit card swiper. So, if you want to get in the portal pilot, you got to swipe your card. And if you would like some uh, toilet paper, go ahead and swipe that card again. Wow, that's very friendly. Huh. All right, next change, pit parking. Wow, this is going to be a good one. So, each parking spot has been retrofitted with a parking meter. This will be a benefit to a majority of the nitrous guys because they leave after the first round anyways. <laughs> That duck guy, he's a, he's a killer. All right. So, also, uh, in order for, you know, Duck X Productions to maintain their Keep Georgia Clean tax incentive, no outside generators are going to be allowed. You're actually going to plug in to the before-mentioned parking meter. So, I guess Duck's going to keep track of that kilowatt per hour and charge it to the final parking bill. All right. That's nice. So, Duck was very excited about this next topic, the Duck X Pro Shop. Now, it's going to be located on Vendors Row between the Christian Rock Band and ticket taker Billy Driscoll autograph booth. Man, I love that guy. What a guy. He lets me just go in the back gate. Don't pay shit. It's great. Oh, excuse my language. We're on national broadcast. Excuse me. All right. Uh, also, the uh, Duck X Pro Shop will be your authorized scooter charging station. That's the only place you can charge a scooter. And that will be done with a credit card swipe as well. Wow. Lots, lots of fees here. Also, no outside race car batteries allowed at Lights Out 9. Turns out we're going to be renting those from the Pro Shop. Man. But have no fear. We also have ice cubes for sale in the Duck X Pro Shop. That's right. We're selling ice by the cube. feel like that'll get expensive. But what do I know? Now, for the part you've all been waiting for, the track changes. Yes, this is my favorite. Wow, looks like a new toll tag sensor has been installed over the burnout area. So, you do your burnout, it's gonna scan your car and send you a bill. Wow, that's nice. All right, hang on a second, we got some problems. Oh, here we go, all right. Credit card swipers on the lanes. You have to swipe your card to enable the tree on your side. That's nice. And have no fear, at the end of the track, also to get your time slip, you're going to have to swipe that card again. But Duck has got a nice little program for you coming up here. That's right, the Doug Johnson experience. For a small fee, you can get another racer's time slip. Wow. That is amazing. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. All right. So some final changes, reserve seating is going to be uh, no longer by the day, but by the hour. But that helps the spectators that hate sitting through that 850 index class. I, you know, I personally like that class. I don't know what the hubbub is about that. Also, the blower tax, a.k.a. Bruder tax, will be in full force. So pretty much if you have a blower, or hell, if your last name's Bruder, you're going to pay a penalty for making a pass down the track. Oh, and one final thing he wanted me to really outline... All before-mentioned uh, taxes and fees will be waived for nitrous combinations. Apparently, they need all the help they can get. Well, Mr. Duck, that's not very friendly at all. Goodness. Anyways, folks, uh, you know, that's all I got on Lights Out 9, but I'm getting a beep in my ear. We've got some breaking news. Oh, my God. We've got some breaking news, folks. Jesus. Kai Kelly has been robbed at gunpoint in San Antonio Raceway. That's right, folks. On Saturday, January 20th, Kai Kelly was robbed at gunpoint on the starting line of San Antonio Raceway. I gotta take my glasses off for this, guys. The assailant is 98 inches tall, slim build, multicolored outfit, yellow, green, and red. Wow. Looks like we've got a surveillance footage, a clip. Have you seen this man? If you've seen this man, folks, you need to call the Texas Marshals, get him off the street or track. 
This is not safe. I can't believe this. This is bull crap. On that note, get me off the air, guys. Get me out of here. I'm sorry, folks. We got to go. We got to go. It's over. I apologize. I'm sorry.